Well, good morning, YouTube. Guys, it is Monday. Been raining on and off all day long. And I wasn't even planning to film a video today, but today the struggle continues. So we were supposed to have the struggle bus out of the infield today. We weren't planning on leaving until tomorrow, but we at least moved the bus out front with Goliath. But Talon and uh, Derek could not get the struggle bus to run. And uh, it turns out the battery was dead. So, you know what, this battery has been kind of like drained down and charged a bunch of times. You know what, just go put a brand new battery in it. So they did. And still nothing. So they're trying to diagnose and figure out what's going on while I was up in Ormond handling some stuff. So I came back to check it out. And the brand new battery that they just got from the Advanced Auto Parts only has 8.4 volts in it. We try putting it on charge and the battery charger after about five minutes kicks the red light on and says bad battery so talon's pulling the brand new battery out of it that he just got and he's going to take it back up and exchange it hopefully that will solve all the issues but uh i don't know we also put a new fuel filter in it hopefully that'll uh make it where they get over 45 mile an hour on the way home maybe hopefully the fuel pump's not bad all right guys so talon got back from the store and they even tested that battery and verified that it had a bad cell in it so they gave him a new battery also tested it verified that it was a good battery we put it in the struggle bus now we know we have a good battery our problem didn't go away so what we figured out was that there is no power supply to the actual ignition switch the key switch on the dash so with it removed i was able to jump the ignition wire and the starter wire and i got the thing to run but i have to literally hold power there so security wants us out of here guys if you look around we are the only rv in the entire infield of the, of the daytona international speedway we need to get out of here so what we're going to do is katie's going to drive the mini cooper back out front town's going to ride the scooter back out front derek is going to drive the struggle bus while i hold power with the power probe to the ignition system to keep it running because if we lose power it just shuts off and we get out there with the rest of the tools and equipment maybe we can fix this a little bit better all right guys so what we're doing is the purple wire is ignition the yellow wire is going to our starter so i'm using this jumper all right going from starter to ignition then once i give power to the ignition i will pull the starter wire out all right ready all right so as long as i hold this button we can drive Go. What we just hit. I think that was uh, Jack flipping into place. adjust it but I'm afraid that if I screw it up we'll shut the truck off and then we're gonna fumble to try to get started at a light yeah that looks 
so. Okay, you're turning, I'm going. We're in a struggle. It's a suiting name for the bus. Made it. Put it in park. And all right, guys, we made it around, but I noticed something. This brown wire here is a large one and a small one. They're getting quite warm, and they're not even connected to anything on this end. So I'm not sure why they were getting so hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. So now at least the struggle bus is back out here with Goliath. Unfortunately, we have a dinner reservation in a little bit, so. I don't know that we're going to be able to fix this just yet, but uh, we can come up with a plan, go to dinner, and then go get some parts and maybe, maybe fix it afterwards. All right, guys. So what we ended up doing, because we couldn't get to the fuse box very well to find out exactly why our ignition supply or our power supply to the ignition switch wasn't working, we just ran a whole new wire from the battery, fused with a 40 amp fuse with some pretty good heavy gauge wire to the ignition switch and I just military spliced it. At least get us home and then maybe I can take out the driver's seat and get down underneath there and find out what the real problem was. So right now we just bypassed it, but hopefully it'll get us home. We did also put the fuel filter in it. So uh, I think Kyle's gonna go take it for a road test and make sure that everything is looking good. And so we get these awnings torn down and get ready to leave tomorrow. Well guys, you've heard me say it before. If it's not one thing, it's another. We got the struggle bus running good. We decided to take Andre and Harry home because they came out to dinner with us, but I wouldn't pick them up brought them to dinner. Long story short, none of that really matters right now, but go to jump with the Mini Cooper, take them home, and now it won't start. The battery's dead in it, and it was acting up on me earlier, but uh, it drove from the restaurant to here without a problem, and now it won't start. So uh, I think we're gonna use a struggle bus to drive them up the Ormond to drop them off. Looks like our only choice. All right, guys, I got Andre and Harry dropped off back at their place, and then I came by, my favorite gas stop here, the Wawa. Wall. We're gonna go ahead and top the struggle bus off. It's running great. Uh, the round trip on that was probably almost 30 miles, um, and was uh, 26 of it was uh, interstate. So I only tried to go about 60 or so. I wasn't trying to push it hard, but it ran really, really good. But we're gonna get topped off with fuel. We're gonna get spare gas cans topped off with fuel as well, and a little bit of fuel treatment here get a cup of coffee and then head back over to the speedway so we can finish getting everything else ready so that first thing in the morning we can roll out. Well guys, hopefully that is enough content for this video. I get back there and get those on exam, get a good night's sleep and then we will see you tomorrow when we start our trip home. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the continuation of the struggles with the struggle bus as uh, we try to get this thing all ready for the road and worked out. This was his first road trip since we had it, but a few issues along the way, but I think all in all we're okay, but we'll see you tomorrow. So thanks again, guys, and until next time we see you, keep those engines running.